Hi everyone, today class I am going to explain about password validation in JavaScript. The password must be consist of at least one uppercase, one lowercase, then one digit, one special characters. Okay, then how it is possible to do the password validation? I will explain you step by step. When you enter username, okay, I did not write the code for username validation, just I concentrated on password validation. Whenever I click on the password, Okay, then another div has to be displayed over here, at least one lower, then here once again I click on it, then if I enter the correct password, then it will be converted to the green color, just I will check it once, then capital letter I entered, now it is okay, capital letter has been converted to the green color, then small i, at least one lower case letter, then if I enter the digit, then digit has corrected any special characters i include only few of them here then if you want to include any other special character you can include over there All right. then i would like to include at the rate of okay it should be a minimum of eight okay then one two three four five okay all conditions returns true then when you submit it it has been redacted to the server side then what is the code i written for this one I will explain you one by one then when it comes to the code then this code has been used for designing the form uh, this is for username uh, this is for user for password then I use the pattern okay for uh, validating the password then this is used for the digits this is used for uh, small letters a to z uppercase letters this is special symbols this minimum character should be 8, then maximum character should be 20, okay. This is a regular expression code has been included for the password, okay. As for your condition, you can write the pattern, isn't it? And when it comes to here, this division, the second division, when you click on the password field, then this password must contain the following, at least one lower case, at least one upper case, one member, special characters, all the things has to be displayed. Then how do you access it? Then by using the get element by ID, then password to be accessed, then letter, okay, here ID equal letter, ID equal capital, ID equal number, all these are accessible. Then here, whether the second block has to be displayed or not. Style dot display equal block, then the information has to be displayed when any one of the condition returns false. Why? Right? Because the condition, password condition is not met, then that information has to be displayed to the user. Then here, if everything is correct, display none. Nothing has to be displayed. Okay, and all fields, all letters are correct in the password. Then at that time, it does not display second block. Okay, second division. Then here, then checking. This is a condition I written. On key up is the event. Then this is checking for the lowercase letters, whether the password is having the lowercase letters are G stands for global match. Okay, this character has to be found anywhere in the given pattern, given password, that's why I use the G. Then it's checking whether it is there or not, match, lowercase letters. Okay, if it is match, then invalid has to be removed. Invalid has to be removed because there are two classes has to be added. Okay, class equal to invalid or valid. I written the CSS code for it, I will show you. Okay, then valid to be added. Then else, remove valid. If condition written false, then invalid to be added. Okay, it is invalid that uh, information has to be displayed in the second division. Okay, like that, the uppercase letter has to be tested, the digits has to be tested, then special symbols also be tested. Uh, this is for minimum character should be 8, then maximum character should be 20. Okay, this is code has to be used. Then when it comes to the CSS code, uh, this simple code has been written for uh, uh, validating the password. Okay, invalid, it is a red color has to be displayed because if it is a valid, the green color. Just now I shown you already because if the content is correct, then right mark symbol has to be displayed. If it is any one of the condition is not correct, then the because wrong symbol has to be displayed. Okay, this is a CSS code has to be added for displaying it in proper manner. Okay, because I, we didn't concentrate on CSS, just majorly we required how do you validate the password. Okay, this is a simple code is being used for validating the password. I, once again, I will check it, okay. Here, I remove it once, 
Okay. Then I click on it. The second div, is, div has to be removed. Then I enter something over here. The username is something. When I click on here, because it didn't enter anything, then first I have entered something I capital letter because here it has been converted to the green color. Okay. Then India, I N D I A. Then even I entered here, the things has been changed. India at the rate of special symbols are there. One, two, three because all are correct. When I click on it, because validating the password is correct, then I click on the submit button. Okay, click on submit button, the login is successful. Okay, otherwise the button has not been submitted. Okay, this is the simple logic has been used for validating the password. If you have any doubt regarding this example, please ask me at any time. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos.